Hello everyone, uh, this is Sierra again. Um, I've had several requests um, ever since I got my Gilio A5 Croco Gray Matte for a flip through. And so I thought, what a better time than today. It's really rainy out and gross um, here in Nebraska. And my baby went down for a nap. Um, this is natural light. So I have a window over here and also have a window um, over that way. If I do turn on the light, here, I'm gonna do it. That's what it looks like. So um, I wanted to do natural light for you guys because I really do think um, it does the um, cover justice because I think it's really gorgeous in the natural light. So uh, without further ado, this is my work planner. Um, for the most part, it stays at home. I brought it home this weekend just because I did plan on doing this video. And so um, otherwise, it literally stays on my desk. It It's large, like it's, I mean, it's a standard A5 size. So I think someone could carry it around pretty easily, but as most of you know, I have um, three other planners that I do carry with me everywhere. So um, between the pocket, the B6, and um, the personal size rings, this just seems absolutely ridiculous to carry and it gets really heavy um, very fast. So um, I've had to cover up a majority of the stuff in here, and so um, I hope to at least just go over it from a from a high level. So um, it's a Campania, which means just like with the personal size or the pocket Campania, it has the big uh, pocket in the back. Um, it has quite a few um, interior pockets. So as you can see here, it has um, a sec well, yeah, secretarial, right, secretarial pocket right here. Then um, another pocket right here that I have to-do notes. Um, you guys have seen these in other videos. They're my favorite. They're by Kiki K. I also have some note cards that I picked up from Target um, because I do like snail mail, um, thank you notes, that sort of thing. So I have those in here. I never can seem to find any when I want to write. So uh, I've been making a point to keep them in, in my planner. In the secretarial, I have a hard uh, kind of card stock um, from cloth and, cloth and Paper, which says Bits and Bobs on it. It came in a larger... Um, pad but I actually have tried to make this more sturdy because it is really floppy um, so that's why I have these to-do cards in here they're very thick and I do use these a lot I use this I have a card for this for every case I work on um, it sits in the front of the file folder so there is actually a purpose to these um, another note card from Target and then just some pretty stickies their labels I thought they were I figured I'd use them in here more than other ones. So, in the pockets, I um, I, got, I ordered some shoes from this M Jemmy. Um, here, if it'll let me take it apart. Oh yeah, because I made I put a sticky on it. Duh. Um, it came with this card with my shoes that I ordered, and it had my name on it. And I was like, oh my gosh, I've never bought shoes where they um, put your name on it. So, and this is just a. Um, cut out from some sort of paper um, thing I had gotten for Christmas so really thought that was cute because I've mentioned this before in other videos but don't ever put the p paper clips actually on the pockets because they'll create an indentation I haven't even tried it on the Croco but I learned very quickly in my other ones um, planner covers that even just with like Kiki K or anything they'll create an indentation and then whenever you move it it just kind of looks crappy so um, these are some stickies from Target I thought they were pretty I thought they gave a pop of color um, I have a, quite a few of these they're just little cards um, they came in a paper a paper pad from Michaels and then I cut them out and I've been using them I actually have like a few left and then there's my business card and in the back there's more pockets, another secretarial, and again, I have tried to beef it up because it is so floppy. And even though it stays on my desk, it's just, I kind of want a little bit more structure. Um, that's probably my only criticism of the entire thing is that. Um, I think that partly just comes with the fact that it's an A5. Like, it's good, it's so large that it's, unless it's like made of a thick, um, not even thick, but like a really hard or has a stiffener in it, you're just not going to get that type of 
um, structure to it. So again, this, these are from Cloth and Paper. I got them in the paper uh, subscription box of hers. Some more notes. Um, and then like notes that I don't care that I use because let's be honest, I will never use these. They're just too pretty. So I have like notes that I could care less if, um, if I go through. So these are some message um, also from Cloth and Paper. They're thick. Um, at work, I've been using these by my phone, so I don't know. I have these in here. I don't know if I'll end up using them or not. Um, and then as in any, there's a zipper pocket back here. As with any of my planners, there's always stamps somewhere. Oh, usually always in a zipper pocket. And then, let's see, in my big pocket, these are, I have my printouts of my cases that I'm assigned, because like every week I print out, because um, usually weekly my case cases change, um, I get assigned new ones, or I, um, things get closed, so, um, and then I also have feedback from my boss that I printed out, that he's put in the emails, and I'm just, you know, trying to learn and grow with that, so, in terms of internally, this is the flyleaf, um, I really like this flyleaf in here, and by the way, these are the standard rings that came with it, so, um, I don't think they're Kraus. I think they, because this is an older, this is before they switched to Krauss rings, which the Krauss rings came like November 6th of 2017 when they started using Krauss. So I want to say this is 25 millimeters, um, but don't quote me. You'd have to go on Julia's website to see what size comes with their A5. For me, it works. I don't need anything bigger. In fact, um, I think there's some parts of this that I have in here just because I felt like I had more room. Um, I don't think I'd necessarily even need this big, but, you know, to each their own. So... Um, I do have an Ole clip. This is the small rose gold um, Ole clip. I have a picture of my husband and I. I thought it was classy, so even if someone uh, found it, it wouldn't matter. Um, I have a dashboard from Minted Sugar, personalized with my name. I have my contact information down here. I didn't cover it, so I don't know. Um, I have my Grumpy Bear in here, Lady Boss. This is, you know, although I'll be carrying this to meetings sometimes, um... For the most part, these are I put kind of the cutesy stuff that makes kind of makes my day uh, in parts where people wouldn't see it if I opened it up. Like I would never really need to open up directly to this page. This is sort of just kind of a random spot. So this is a flyleaf, or not a flyleaf, a dashboard. I believe I got this. I think this ca this came with the Gilio. So I bought this used from Bianca. She's Planatomy or Plan. Um, plan and, and, and plan and anatomy those two words combined on Instagram like I'll link her below but she was she was selling this baby and I bought it from her and she included all the inserts that came with it so this is actually um, one of those so um, my contact information is behind here and like full contact information like my address everything work and home in case someone would uh, come across it I'll switch, flip, flip over that. This is a also a map that came with the Julio inserts. Um, when I'd ever have to look at it, I don't know, but I really love it because uh, my geography skills are definitely crappier now that I like haven't been in school. I mean, law school we didn't even have geography, obviously, so um, it's just kind of nice because sometimes, especially with the planner community being uh, worldwide it's kind of nice to be like, oh, I'm talking to someone in the Netherlands. Um, you know, where is that located? How close have I been to the Netherlands? Because I actually haven't been there directly. This is a favorite um, word of mine. I, I think it's actually a fake word. Like, it's not actually in Webster's yet, but I saw it somewhere, and I really liked the definition. So it's Sonder, and I wrote out the definition on one of these cards. It's the profound feeling of realizing that everyone, including strangers, passed in the street, has a life as complex as one's own, which they are constantly living besides one's personal lack of awareness of it. And that just really um, blew my mind. I thought that was, you know, really potent um, in terms of, hey, look around, like everyone is living their own, kind of their own struggles and their own joys. So this is a uh, post-it note from my dad that he put in one of my like birthday cards forever ago. I really liked it. Um, the first tab is my calendar. I think these are from Glam Plan XO. Um, I had these like from way back when and I decided to use them. I have the Kiki K calendar inserts in here still. Um, obviously these will run out in April, not obviously, but um, I've had these, I've been using these for over 
two years now. And they'll finally run out in April, and then I'll print, probably, I'll go with Peanuts Planner Co. Um, inserts, because I really like, um, finally I'll get to kind of spruce it up. This paper from Kiki K is just really crappy, but um, in these, this particular monthly spread, it's largely blank. Um, what I will do is put major birthdays and so forth, and then I'll put cases in. So um, right now, I don't have a trial set for February. It One got moved, um, and you know I'll let myself be kind of messy with it. Like, I don't know, do I have anything in January? No. Usually, at least in the past months, I let myself be messy because often try at times, as um, you know, trial attorneys know, cases get moved sometimes the last minute, sometimes they get moved because they get settled, um, so they're no longer there. So I do let myself be messy. It's not about like making it pretty. Um, so then I go April, and then I have down here just a date to remember because my husband requested vacation in May, so I'll probably start writing more because I'll be running out of inserts. This is a dashboard from Foxy Fix. It's thicker. I really love their, their uh, dashboards or their, their uh, folders. So this is secretarial. There's secretarial on both sides. Um, I have some more to-do notes and a, a post-it note, or a post-it note, oh my gosh. Um, and so what, again, don't put paper clips on the actual, like I put it on the paper so that, because you don't want it to be like, make an indentation. So I don't know, I have, that's why, you know, I'll probably use this functionally at some point and I'll have it there and I'll know it's there. Um, this is just some paper that I liked and then a note from my husband from one of our um, anniversary cards. This is to-do list, a uh, picture of my husband, baby, and I. I just printed it out like on a crappy printer. Um, this is another one of those folders. So like in my last YouTube video that I created, like I think it was December 31st. Um, I had bought several of these folders from Mochi Things, and this is the only adhesive part, and then it flips. You can put, you know, on two different two different sides. I don't know exactly what I want to put on this yet, um, but I know that at some point I'll have, I know there, I know there's got to be something like a to-do list for work, like whenever I new case, this is what you got to do, or something like that. Actually, that's a really good idea. I hadn't thought about that. Um, so I have a picture of my baby, and then these are to-do lists. So... I keep them in there, like there's, an, this is an archive, so it starts in August, um, I think that's when I started using A5 at work, because um, I took over this position that I'm in now, August 21st, so this is kind of memorialized when um, this stuff started, so September, assignments in September, active cases, go to October, and then I have this to do tab, this is from Jillio, and it pops out. And so when I get back to the office on Monday, I'll start a new page and kind of go down that again. This, These are free printables from Peanuts Planner Co. Um, these are leftover from Kiki K that obviously I haven't wanted to use. Their paper's just, um, I don't want to say crappy because I think there's a purpose to them. It's just I don't get excited to write on it, so that's why they're back here. Eventually I'll use them. Um, before I forget, these dividers are all fermented sugar. I don't know if she's still doing dividers. I know at one point she had announced that she wasn't going to do them anymore and she was going to look for another option to do them. You know, maybe something that isn't so time intensive because my understanding is she was making these like by her handmade. Um, so this is a note section. I have, I'm using minted sugar um, paper in here. It's very expensive. As you can see, it's blush pink, which is my fave. Um, and so like, I have a few meeting notes in here um, from legal support meetings, um, but largely I use these for when there's like significant meetings that I know I'm going to need to to have the info on. So like there was a change in how legal support was being handled for our specific um, team within the law department, and so I really wanted to keep track of you know who was being assigned to what, who do I reach out to for what sort of. Um, issues I'm having and so that's when I chose to use this paper in this book and oftentimes these meetings are well scheduled so I know automatically I'll be bringing this but you know if I have to go on a cuff to a meeting um, I'm not gonna use my nice minted sugar paper I <laughs> so I don't know I don't know if that makes me weird or not but I'll just take like a shitty like legal pad or or take I don't know just some of my paper from my personal I'll take my personal planner with me and and write in that because I don't want to waste. Um, my next is cases and projects. So I have little like on every single one I've wrote 
down kind of what I'm using it for to do list. Um, so I have important on here because this is where I spend the majority of my time and this is what um, unfortunately is largely having to be covered because it's all confidential. So this is all Tomo River paper which is by far my favorite. It's even my more favorite than Minted Sugar. I just found it's, it is a little bit more inexpensive especially if you buy it like in the 8x11 and then you cut it down yourself. Um, which I did, I have started doing, but I just haven't needed to switch into that yet. So this is from, uh, Penguin Paper Co., Paper Penguin Co., I'll link it below, or it's linked in my other videos. Um, so each page is a case, and if I need more than one case, or more than one page per case, um, then, you know, you'll see that in there. So, um, I don't know, like... I'm trying if you can't really see it all but like um this case in particular this is the case I just went to trial with a couple weeks ago um or last week rather it seems like forever ago um already and I've had to just start writing like pages after pages because once it gets closer and closer to closer to trial you just have so much more to remember so I do have a sticky note on it these are from Kate Spade um I've done really well with actually using these they're so pretty but I've actually been like using them routinely um so yeah, there's just a page per case, and what I do is I write out the key players, um, what the plaintiff is claiming, really simple, like a, a complete, just one sentence, which is really hard to do, oftentimes, and then I have um, our defense, and then I have kind of, I usually add some case law and sticky notes that I need to remember, especially if some new case law comes out that's in our favor, and then I have what I want to do, like if I want to file particular motions, if I need to do this particular discovery on that case that's what's over here so I think for a lot of people it'd be like project management um, you know if you wanted to anal you know do an analogy to other areas um, other careers so yeah flip through all that and then these are just blank so there's a ton in here the only downside to using Toma River paper um, is it is frail so like you can see the first page on this it's already starting to rip at the um, at the hole punches so as most attorneys know well, all attorneys probably know is that some oftentimes these cases are never over you'll have cases that are open for nine years ten years like the, the it's really rare to have something that you only have for a year or something like that unless something really odd happens so that is something that I'm gonna have to consider I may have to switch out to maybe cheaper paper or, sorry not cheaper but like thicker paper um, or I just have to use washi tape, but that's a lot of work. So I don't know, we'll see. Then the next last section is my goal section. So again, goals and accomplishments. Um, I've been trying to do better with, this is also minted sugar, by the way. Um, this is just, gosh, I think I got this from like Hobby Lobby or something. I just had to use man sticky. Um, I have my, some of my favorite sticky notes. I never really use these, so I just forget they're there. So I don't know what I'm doing with them, but some of my favorite um, stickers in here and so forth. But I have projects that I've accomplished or things that I've won um, or considered a win. I have feedback and then I have goals. I've had to cover it all up, but mainly just career goals. Like where do I wanna be in two years? Um, you know, my big, I think this other people could pick up on, my big goal is to just own everything. So just effing own it. Like my case even if that's not my case even if I'm like second chair on it or I'm like second counsel on it to just own it to be the best the most prepared to know the most about the case to um, you know be passionate about it and do care what the outcome is um, and not just I mean consider it work because I go home and and you know focus on my family but at the same time like just really kind of caring and owning it and having it an interest a vested interest in it so that's like my main overarching goal. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So this is a Foxy Fix page lifter. Again, um, I actually have quite a few dashboards and folders from them for A5. And of course, unfortunately, they're just sitting in a um, drawer right now because I just, I already have, I don't really need any more dashboards or anything in here. Um, this is really meant to be very functional because it's sitting at work. So, with that said, um, this is one of my shortest videos. If you guys have any questions, let me know, but I, I did want to do a flip through for you guys, uh, those who are really obsessed, or, I don't know, I'm really obsessed with this. It's really smooth. It's like an, almost like a, a velvet feeling. I don't know, I really, 
I really want the personal size now. And I remember thinking whenever I saw several other people's, I thought, no, I don't want that. I don't know what people, why people are obsessed with this like gray croco. I mean, I was totally just completely skeptical and you know, to each their own, I wasn't like judging anyone, but I just thought to myself, like, I don't get it. Clearly they love it. Now I get it. And I said that in my live video on Instagram, but like, it is just so gorgeous. It's so classy. It matches like everything I wear, it matches. I don't really wear any bright, bright like highlighter colors or anything like that, obviously, to work. Um, it just matches. It looks very clean. Um, like I said, the only thing, I, if I had to complain, which I don't really like to do, if I had to, if someone said, what is so, what's wrong with it? What's one thing that you don't care for? It is that it's floppy. Um, there, like, there's kind of an example. There isn't a stiffener in it, and they don't, they don't make them with stiffeners. I think uh, the under spec, you can choose whether or not to add a stiffener. I'm not familiar with that brand very much because I've never bought from them so don't don't quote me um but I have seen like there's a stiffener option and they just don't do that at Chilio. so if it means like eventually this I'm sure the back pocket will be much more thicker because I'll have much more pages in it um and I think that'll help it but anyhow thanks for watching um uh, my next video is going to be about um how I do financial planning and budgeting which I do in my um purse right here which I do in my um, Louis Vuitton Koala agenda this is the pocket size um, so my next video I'm going to actually show you on my computer the Excel spreadsheet I use because let's be honest we're living a digital age so although most of what I do is um, on paper I do spend quite a bit of time um, in front of a computer so if it's easier to do Excel then that's what I do and then um, how I print that out and then how I use this system here to keep track of everything and and work towards my goals and then save the maximum amount each month. So that'll be my next video. Hopefully I do that next weekend. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, please let me know if you like this or dislike this video. I don't mind getting dislikes. This isn't like my, I just kind of want to learn and um, help you guys out. Um, subscribe if you'd like. And then if you want to find me on Instagram, I am SM Plans. And um, if you comment with your handle below, I'll definitely check you out. Let, don't feel like, don't take it personally if I don't follow you back. I just, no, no, I just, I try to follow planners um, or, or similar minded people. And um, so, yeah, I just, but that, I definitely want to check each of you guys, guys out and um, get to know you. So, all right. Thank you guys so much. Have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.